Hello everybody. This is going to be a quick video on the high-powered PEMF P -E um, semi-kit. The semi-kit comes completely fabricated with respect to um, a few connections and it will actually work. Right out of the box, and this is the box that it comes in. Uh, this is a uh, empty box right now but this gets put inside here of course it gets bubble wrapped and packed or tissue paper wrapped whatever but it's the, the components are wrapped and it comes out just like this just like this here's a much closer look at it and I'll actually go over the parts um, this is the output uh, plug and I don't want to get it blurry there so let the camera focus this is the output plug it's already connected uh, when you build the kit you probably will disconnect it uh, cut the wires and strip them again and you'll uh, run this through the box you'll drill a hole and run it through the box so it comes out dangling out uh, one side however you decide to uh, uh, put this together in a package I have uh, templates on the website, the PEMF website, um, that shows what I did. In fact, I do have a box that I actually cut out, and I'll show you. Uh, I'm going to put this down, reach over and get that box. Um, getting that box, hang loose, hang loose. Okay, I'm back. And I actually cut out a box, put some holes in it. Um, vent holes on both sides. Um, this is where the fan goes. I did not cut this hole out yet. Um, one side is, uh, this is the output side. And I know that because it's closest to the capacitor. These holes were uh, sort of like universal holes for um, capacitors of various physical size but all the capacitors that I use and recommend for this box are 1500 microfarads like this one right here which is labeled um, it's upside down right now but it's 1500 microfarads rated at 250 volts 85 degrees C uh, the parameters you're interested in is the 1500 microvolts and the 250 uh, volt limit so I'll put this aside. You will probably want to disconnect this resistor so you can mount it and then resolder the wires. There's no polarity to watch in here. Same thing with the cap. You will want to disconnect this cap when you put it inside a box. There is a polarity and the polarity um, is well de designated on the cap, the plus side. That would be the white wire and the black wire would be the, the negative side. Yeah, okay, make sure I can see that. Uh, the switches are already mounted. Uh, you, will, you will not disconnect these. You'll just take off the knob and there's a bolt here that, or a nut, and you'll put it through a hole and you'll put the nut on on the outside of the box. And they're also labeled. The one with the red dot is the speed control. The one without the red dot is the time control. And the uh, start stop switch, which is basically an interrupt switch to the system is already connected. And what I have been doing is I drill a small hole uh, about three eighths of an inch. And I put this up there and I glue it and I provide the glue. There's a bag of parts and in that bag of parts, there is um, a, a, um, a, some glue, some universal, very, very all, very, very nice all-purpose glue. There's a monitor light, and it's right here. It's not a light; it's an LED, and I hope you can see that. And then there's two power connectors. There's one for the fan, and you can't make a mistake. Here's the fan. And I'm going to actually plug it in because I'm going to um, run this for you right in front of you. Um, there's one for the fan. And if I plug this in properly, the fan will work when I power it up. And there's one plug for the power. Now, I'm going to do something different in this demo. Normally, 
normally this 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 power male plug plugs into this female plug. Oops. Okay, they they plug in there, and and these wires right here that I'm holding are the AC. The two white lines are the AC. So they'll get tied to the AC line uh, wherever you bring that into your box. But I'm not going to use this. On the other end of this um, plug here is a 12 volt vampire module, 12 volt um, AC to DC module, plugs into the wall outlet, which just happens to be out of the view of the camera. And I made this special adapter just so I can check all the units. You won't get this special adapter and you won't get this um, 12 volt module. You get this module that gets mounted in the box. These wires go to the AC side and this goes to the DC match. It's the mate to this. All right, so I'm going to plug this guy in. And I'm going to give it 12 volts. It's already plugged in there back. It's, it's already, and you probably just saw a light come on. Um, so the Arduino in the circuit board and some of the logic in the circuit board now is receiving 12 volts worth of power. Again, you would be providing it with this module and these wires here would be going to the AC line. The fan is spinning. I'm going to, have to move this very carefully. There's two switches here. I'm going to talk about those at the end. These are a new mod that I just uh, developed. Um, so he, I'm going to take the fan and just temporarily place the fan on top of the heat sinks so they stay nice and cool. Okay, and you will mount that fan in the box so it aims down on top of uh, the two heat sinks. And if I just show you the box again, um, I mount the fan on the cover. This is and this is a major box. This is the cover. I turn it upside down. The fan goes there with a grill and it it's aimed right at those um, two heat sinks. And it will make a big difference if you don't use a the fan. There's a couple of thermal protection switch uh, thermistors on the um, SCRs that are mounted to the heat sink. And if they detect the uh, um, SCR getting too hot, it will definitely shut everything down. And that's to protect the uh, SCR so they don't blow up. Burn up, blow up, same diff. I happen to have a monocoil here, um, right here. Put it in the field of view. And a monocoil differs from a bifiller coil in that it only has one winding. And that's all you need for a PEMF. So the coil is uh, connected. Get the cap here, just situate things so they're not going to short out anything. I'm going to just move this out of the way. This is. Now, when I test, I use this extension cord, which I fused, and it's got a couple of alligator clips on it. And you can see the two alligator clips. There's two white wires on this circuit board. I'm holding one in each hand. And one is very smooth and round, and the other one's sort of serrated. It's got a serrated edge. And that serrated edge is the negative side. Negative side, positive side. But basically, with AC, it doesn't matter. Um, because what I do is I rectify the uh, AC uh, with a diode. But if you want to stick with convention, I'm sticking with convention. So I'm going to plug uh, the alligator clip, my black one, onto the what I call the negative side. And I'm going to connect the red wire, which I call the positive side. And now I have a plug that I've got to plug in to get power. So I'm going to plug it in and get power. And I just turned the switch on. This unit now is running. It's completely ready to run. It's connected to a coil right here that I have my hand on. And it's got a switch here just waiting to be pressed. And if I press it, you can see the LED flashing. 
Um, it's running under uh, one of the mods of the new software that I have, and it's running, I think, and this one's running around 15 hertz, about 14.7, I think, somewhere around there. The units that do not have the mod, I haven't even uh, written the mod up yet on the internet, don't have these switches. And they have, uh, and you only have, only have, you have six timing levels, and the timing level or timing is with one pot, and the other pot is for speed, and you have six speed controls. With these two switches, what they do, which I haven't done a video on, I haven't um, um, written it up yet, um, they, they change the number six to number eight to 18. So you have 18 speed settings and you have 18 time settings. It's a really a nice feature, but it's not complete because I haven't done any uh, documentation on it yet. Um, the board goes for 189, completely assembled in the semi kit form. Plus, you get all the parts, all the parts. And as you can see, it is running right now because I got that LED flashing away. And I can change the speed on that. I'll stop it with the start-stop switch. And it just stopped. You see the LED's not running anymore. And I'll switch it to a uh, different speed. Uh, different speed. That's this one. And I don't know which one I just... So it's much slower. In fact, what I think I'll do is make it real slow. There we go. And <laughs> a couple of switch. Okay, so now it's only blinking at one hertz per second. So that should eliminate any confusion when somebody says, well, will I be able to run it out of the, the shipping package? No, you won't. You'll have to connect up um, an AC source and you'll have to connect up a 12 volt source. But if you do that, yes, you will. And I recommend that if you connect up like I did temporarily, you fuse it. Um, I provided a fuse holder in here that's m meant to go on inside the box. And in fact, I'm using one of those very same fuse holders. And you fuse it, and the fuse holder comes with a, a eight and a half slow blow fuse already in it, and there's one spare. You do not run this unit without a fuse. And if you don't want to box it, get yourself a piece of pine board and you put everything down and you staple things down so they're not going to short or whatever, and uh, there you go. You'll have a working unit. Why don't I box it and collect another hundred dollars? I don't have the time. I have too many projects that have taken off on me and I just don't have the time. So I'm going to stop this now by just pressing the stop button. I'm going to turn off my AC and I'm going to unplug my DC. And disconnect my AC disconnect the coil disconnect the fan which is which comes in the box and here's the unit and that's the way you'll be taking it out of the um, the box you'll be taking it out like this and now you've got an example of uh, how close this is to a, a completely working PEMF just needs to be packaged in a box and an AC connected up and 12 volts connected up. Of course, you'll connect your 12 volts up with this. And um, if you decide that you want to go buy yourself a um, female plug and you make up one of these little guys that I made up here, here it is. It's like, I'm going to take this off. I left it dangling on the, uh, the board. Um, you can use a 12 volt wall module instead of using this. I have uh, one gentleman that is making his own from the plans and this so forth, and that's exactly what he used. He used the same thing I'm using here when I do my testing. 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 Hello, test. <laughs> okay. And this will fit. 
all this will fit into this box. And all the rest of the parts will be in a bag. Will be in a bag. And um, I have a parts list on the uh, PEMF page. So this should give you a good idea what you get when you get the PEMF semi kit. You get a unit ready to fly. Um, just have to connect power. And of course you need a coil. So you'll have to connect a coil, whether you make your own coil or um, you buy one. All right. Let's put this down. That's the end of this video. Um, much longer than I thought it was going to be. I thought it would be a short video, but um, this is a one shot. I'm just going to put this up on the internet. Have a nice day, everybody.